Not since the days of the poll tax have so many people taken to the streets screaming down a politician by name in anger at a piece of government legislation. This time it's the Conservative Party's bill to overhaul the National Health Service that has so many people up in arms, with Health Secretary Andrew Lansley facing the fury of the public. Health workers were among the most vocal of the protesters. It is very, very challenging, there is no doubt. We have an ageing population and healthcare is becoming more expensive as we develop new techniques. But the way I would argue that this should be done is with cooperation between healthcare professionals, between patients, between social care, not with competition with the introduction of private providers. The bill has made its way steadily through Parliament with the support of the coalition government. If it makes its way into the British law books, private companies will be able to compete to commission and supply NHS services. Any remaining services will have their budgets cut. Doctors will also have more say over how their money is spent. There are concerns that this will distract them from their primary role of caring for patients. NHS staff have the full support and solidarity of a number of trade unions. We're being told that there is no alternative. Actually, there's plenty of alternatives. And one of the best alternatives would be to rebuild our health service, put money, money more back into it and put more people into work. Opposition MP Jeremy Corbyn believes that the price of these reforms is being paid by those who aren't responsible. The cuts are not necessary at all. The banking crisis of 2008 created this. None of the health workers were involved in the banking crisis. None of them involved themselves in subprime mortgages in the United States. The people who should pay are the bankers, and a transaction tax would be more than sufficient to pay off the deficit over four or five years. Prime Minister David Cameron has said that the NHS is facing enormous financial pressures and that modernisation is vital to avoid any crisis in future. The people who will be worst affected by Andrew Lansley's bill are the very people who have turned up here to protest. That being the doctors, nurses and admin staff of the NHS whose jobs will suffer and the patients whose care will suffer as a result. Hence why people have turned up in their thousands to ensure that this bill is scrapped once and for all. Steve McCall, Press TV, London.